Welcome to the world debut of the redesigned and refreshed 2024 Jeep Wrangler. Zach is behind the camera and we're here at the 2023 New York Auto Show and we're going to tell you everything you need to know about the latest Wrangler because it still remains, it's still here. This is a wheelies two-door, uh, one of the more affordable ones and over here is one of the more expensive ones which is the 4xe plug-in hybrid high altitude. So how do I know it's high altitude? Well, painted fenders as well and a lot of luxury features. So in this video, we're gonna go over all the changes they did. The reason why I started on the grill is because um, they did a new front surround where the body collar goes underneath it. Um, and of course there's different styles, different finishes, but still seven slot grill is right there. Uh, I think it's a subtle change. Let me know what you think in the comments below, but that's one sign that this is a 2024 Jeep Wrangler. Uh, so they've, they've, they've done several things. They changed the interior. They also added safety. So let me show you the interior first. Uh, look at that. So the front gauges are about the same as they were, but the center screen, the center screen um, is new. Let me, let me cancel out. We don't want to call, we don't want to call SOS right now. Thanks, uh, so yeah, so 12.3 inches um, navigation screen. You could kind of choose which widget and which uh, application you want to put on the screen. Every 2024 Wrangler will have a screen like this and different finishes. You could see here uh, they changed the way this looks, uh, different uh, different stitching, and they changed uh, the the center stack a little bit with vents. Of course, still climate control system is here uh, and all of the controls are down below. They also, this model doesn't have it. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, they also introduced 12-way power adjustable front seats. Um, I'll show you to you over there, which are approved for water fording. So 34 inches of water fording and they have tires between 32 inches um, all, all the way up to 35 um, initially at least for the 2024 uh, Jeep Wrangler. So let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. So I want to mention this. So powertrains remain the same. There's four powertrains. Uh, there's no more diesel, of course, no, no eco diesel, but the 3.6 Panastar V6 gas engine, the two liter turbo, this, the plug-in hybrid. Um, of course, you can see the plug over here. And now they also have the new 3.6 kilowatt power export accessory. So you can plug in your power export feature here and power some things at your campsite or your next trip. Um, and you can see, of course, the blue elements on the badging. That's how you know. That's how you know it's... There's Alex on Autos uh, doing his presentation. And you can see the latest grill on the 4xe, how the body color around uh, goes all the way around by the way you might be wondering why the duckies so so this Jeep has a few rubber duckies so it's kind of a new trend um, and owners of Jeeps uh, so if they really the range of the Tide Pod challenge yes uh, when they appreciate each other's Wranglers they would leave a rubber ducky and just say thank you so now Jeep is doing it here at the show so let's keep moving oh by the way I think I really like this wheel design um, with a little blue um, original wheelies right there emblem. Of course, if I was going to buy a Wrangler, let's walk over here. I would actually get a Rubicon. So, and maybe we'll find Jim Morrison, the CEO of North America Jeep. He's here somewhere. And we may actually find him and um, get a few words from him. Um, this is the latest Rubicon edition. Why am I running over here? Well, it's because of this. You can't quite tell here, but they're using on all Rubicons, they're gonna add from the factory a fully floating rear axle. So what is a fully floating rear axle? It basically is an axle that's a little bit stronger. It separates the weight carrying capacity of the axle from the bearings and the spinning components. So. Uh, one of the benefits of that is additional towing. There's a hitch right there. It will. This one came from Moab, so it's 
it's dirty, it's got Moab sand, even though we're in New York City. Uh, up to 5,000 pounds, yes, class leading. And I think what's happening here is competition makes everything better, right? Uh, the Ford Bronco is here, Ford Bronco is getting popular, and the Bronco Raptor will tow what, up to 4,500 pounds approximately? So Jeep says, no, 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 we need to raise our towing a little bit higher. So they did 5,000. And I think for a vehicle like this, a mid-size SUV, 5,000 pounds is just about right. It's also where the 4Runner, the Toyota 4Runner is as well. Here's the latest interior. And I can show you the power seats. By the way, this Rubicon is electrified. Let me close this. Hold on, let me, let me get my light for you so I can, I can show you a little bit better. So here you go. This came from Moab with all the red dirt that we love. Power seats, power adjustment, and like I said, uh, proven um, to 34 inches of water fording. And you can see all of the stitching um, and all of the updates on the interior. Uh, what you can see is in the, is in the um, kind of the sports bar area, uh, all the way around, curtain airbags are now standard. Actually, there's a sign. There's a little, there's a little sign, curtain airbag. So they're improving the safety. It's now standard. Let's keep moving. I told you four powertrains, right? And so far I, I talked about three. Here's the fourth one. So you'll be very happy to know that the 392, the 6.4 liter V8 is coming back. There's a quad system, two here, two there. Uh, 470, uh, no, this is the V8. 470 horsepower, 470 pound-feet of torque and very fast. They stayed 4.5 second accelerations. Um, same torque though as the plug-in hybrid. So when you get a plug-in hybrid, you can now power, like I said, run a few accessories with it, uh, but also you have all that torque to accelerate and climb rocks. But this Jeep on 35s, I think looks amazing. There are the tires, the wheels, and the updated styling. Let's look in the front. I, I want to see this one. So yeah, I, I really like it. Um, by the way, you also see a winch up here. Let's, sorry, let's zoom in really fast. 8,000 pound worn winch from the factory. So of course, Jeep Wranglers have come with winch ready bumpers. Let's step aside. But now from the factory, you can spec it with a winch. What else do you want? <laughs> so um, those are some of the major changes. Uh, the new Wrangler comes on sale this, later this year. Uh, pricing is not available year, yet. Uh, pricing will be available a little bit later, uh, closer to launch. Uh, what, you, what do you think, guys? So they're improving interiors uh, with bigger screens. Uh, they left the powertrains alone. They added on the Rubicons that, that heavier axle. It's still a Dana but like fully floating design that allows it also to be repaired easily or if you have a problem climbing rocks you could swap the shaft without um, actually potentially um, a, a lot of trouble so fully floating design is really good heavy duty trucks use fully floating rear axles as well let's keep walking a little bit more they also improve the safety um, they also have, of course, trail maps, uh, their own application with some history of the trails and some waypoints. Uh, and uh, they're just small, I would say small revisions, small updates, but I really welcome the, uh, the larger screens. It looks more premium. Let me show you. It looks more premium. I think, you know, Having a larger screen, I think, is always a benefit, especially if you have cameras all the way around. Um, once again, Moab. 
mud and, and dust. Um, really, really special. So let me know what you think in the comments below and come back to oldtfl.com. Uh, Roman and Tommy are, right now are actually in Moab, in Utah, and they're gonna do another video a little bit later. Uh, so come back to oldtfl.com or TFL Car YouTube channel, and they're gonna show you this updated Jeep in the elements uh, outside. So thank you very much. I'll see you next time.